Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, the Indian Air Force will induct four Chinook heavy lift helicopters on 25th March, and these helicopters will become a part of the 126 Helicopter Flight Squadron, and will be based at the Indian Air Force's base in Chandigarh City, which currently operates the Russian Mi-26 heavy lift helicopters, and will cater to the high altitude operations of the Indian Armed Forces. According to latest reports, the Defense Acquisition Council has cleared capital procurements worth about 2,355 crore rupees, including 10 lakh multi-mode hand grenades, new fire control systems for the naval ships, and the modernization of naval aircraft yards at India's western seaboard. The Ministry of Defense has also cleared fresh policy guidelines for selection of shipyards for major ship and submarine building projects of the Indian Navy and Coast Guard, which will enable the issuing of tenders for projects worth around 25,000 crore rupees in the coming year. The Ministry has also taken steps to encourage medium and small shipyards, by making them eligible for small value projects. After ordering 72,416 rifles from the US under the fast-track procedure, the Indian Army is now looking to take the same route to equip its soldiers with 16,000 new light machine guns. The fast-track procedure can be invoked in the cases where the delay in procurement is seen to adversely impact the military's capacity and preparedness. A team of the Indian Army will visit manufacturers in several countries including the US, Bulgaria and South Korea in the coming weeks to initiate the purchase. The Indian Army has a requirement of more than 40,000 light machine guns, and the Army is looking for 7.62 by 51 mm caliber, with an effective range of at least 800 meters. The Indian Army has provided advanced sniper rifles to its troops posted along the line of control, including the Barrett M95 from the US, and Beretta's Scorpio TGT from Italy. The Army has also initiated a move to buy more than 6,500 sniper rifles for troops under fast-track procedures. All infantry units have been given a specific number of sniper rifles, and the total requirement will be met in a short while. It was reported that the Indian Air Force intended to replace the current close combat system of its frontline Su-30, with the European ASRAM heat-seeking close combat air-to-air -air system. According to latest reports, Russia's Vimpel Design Bureau has now offered the RVVMD short-range system, the RVVST medium-range system, and RVVBD beyond visual range system to India. These air-to-air -air systems are designed to be equipped on the Su-57, and is now offered to India by the Russian manufacturer. The Defense Ministry has said, that a 5-meter short-span bridge was formally handed over to the Indian Army. The bridge is indigenously designed and developed, and is the result of close coordination between the DRDO and Corps of Engineers, and has been manufactured by Larsen and Tubro, which has been delivered three months ahead of schedule. The United States had assured India in 2015, that Pakistan won't use F-16s and AMRAMs against India, as the US had an effective and user monitoring process, and the systems could be made ineffective if Pakistan misused the system. These assurances were made in 2015, when the former defense minister had strongly raised the issue of supplying AMRAMs and F-16 fighter jets to Pakistan with his US counterpart Ashton Carter. India had lobbied hard against the sale of additional advanced versions of F-16s to Pakistan, and had succeeded in blocking the sale, after the US Senate voted against subsidizing the procurement using taxpayers' money.